Yo, welcome to day one of the 2016 Office Olympics. I'm Cole, and here with me is the incomparable Jen Ratford. Today we are highlighting the sport of paper trash throwing in the inaugural GMP event. Jen, can you tell me a little bit more about what this event encompasses? Sure, Cole. So GMP stands for Generalized Motor Program. This defines a pattern of movement that can be modified by changing parameter settings to adapt to different environmental demands. The parameters being varied today are the limbs and muscles used. We are going to see these all-star athletes do something they know well, tossing a paper ball into the trash with their dominant limb. But what makes this a GMP event is that we are going to change up the parameters and also ask them to use their non-dominant hand, their teeth, and their feet. Things they've never done before to see how well the skill can transfer over. But more on GMP later. Sweet. Let's go check out these amazing athletes. So today we have the top two athletes in this sport out here. First up, we're going to talk to Carlos Negron. Carlos, can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been involved in the sport and what got you started? Sure, Jen. Well, initially it started off as a bet between some friends. Uh, they said I wouldn't be able to do it, but I proved them wrong and I've just been able to turn it into a lucrative career. That's fantastic. Cole, over to you. Cool. Thanks, Jen. Well, I'm here with Steven Rivas. Steven, you want to give us some background info on what got you into the sport and everything? How you doing, Cole? Not bad. Well, you know, uh, I have a good team up in Scanton, Pennsylvania, uh, Dunder Mifflin Company. Um, I'm training really hard for the events like this, and uh, I've been in the game for ever since I was 15. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this event and just dominating the competition. Nice, nice, man. Well, good luck with the competition, man. Hope you do well. Um, I guess it's down. Okay, it's time to get down. Characteristics of the GMP. First off, the invariant features. Invariant features are features that do not change across the performance of a skill and they are the identifying signature of the GMP. The invariant features on display today centered on the movement sequence for tossing the paper ball into the trash can. As best displayed with both athletes' dominant hand, invariant features specific to today's task included gauging the distance to the target, loading by flexing of the elbow, extension of the elbow to toss the ball, as well as the extension of the wrist for the follow-through. When comparing the athlete's dominant hand to their non-dominant hand, even though they were able to perform the same movement sequence specific to the GMP, it was not as smooth, and as you can see, the extension and follow-through were much choppier and much shorter. During the performance with the head and teeth, it was clear that Carlos adapted the movement sequence in a way which allowed him to better perform the required task. By flexing and extending his neck, he was able to alter the overall force in a way that allowed him to account for the changing parameters. This allowed him to launch the paper ball towards the target much better than Steven. As you can see during the performance of the task with their feet, even though there is a similar movement pattern, 
gauging the distance, flexing the knee, and extending the knee and foot to follow through to the target, the limbs and muscles required to perform the task were different. This ultimately caused the athletes to alter the overall force necessary to launch the paper ball towards the target. As we mentioned earlier, GMP theory states that there is a stored pattern of movement instead of one specific movement. The GMP allows for flexibility to modify the general motor program in order to produce various patterns to meet the demands of the task. Lastly, the GMP displayed by both athletes today was initiated by incorporating a schema. A schema is a set of rules stored in the central nervous system that provides information for the basis of motor program decisions. The key point of the schema is that it is learned with practice. Through practice, the GMP specific to tossing the paper ball was able to transfer to the non-dominant hand, the feet, as well as the head and teeth. This allowed the athletes to adapt their performances to meet the demands of the varying parameters. started off as a bet. Um, some of my friends said I wouldn't be able to do it, um, but I proved them wrong and uh, I've been able to turn it out into a lucrative career. That's fantastic. Now over to Cole, who will introduce us to our second athlete. Alright man, so let's get some background info on you. So what got you into the sport? Tour, or, yeah. Well, my daddy owns a paper company called Dunder Mifflin. He used to call me the paper man back in the day because I'd just be draining threes, come and give me buckets, you know. So, uh, honestly, I ain't even worried about this competition. Okay, okay. Got some been all business since I was probably five years old. Nice, nice. So, who are some of your influences? Like, who did you look up to in the sport? Oh, uh, you know, definitely Paul Pierce, Michael Jordan, uh, Rondo. Uh, right now, Kevin Durant, he's like on fire. But, um, Those are just, just name a few. I mean, they're not on my level, but. Pretty sure, pretty sure. I yeah. Mean, I, I enjoy boxing them. Cool, cool. Well, thanks for the background info and stuff, man. Good luck in the competition. I guess uh, it's time to get down to business. 